A large number of problems in rivers are sometimes due to the effects of climate change. But knowing too many is the issue of man-made problems and this is what the villagers along the Muscle Creek in the Boom area is fighting at this present moment. Due to the lack of fresh water and the free flow of the river being obstructed, the river is plagued with water cabbage and other bush-like substance growing on the river. So this is the um, clog that is caused by these, caused by these vegetation, uh, definitely reduce the ability of the water to flow. And, um, the people are farming its natural function. No? Effects of climate change as well as um, you'll find innovative species to be able to adapt and um, the natural habitat ecosystem uh, will have failed because of the change in temperature, even you know, water levels. And so, probably, this species here um, they're probably going to be two factors contributing to this um, clogging that we're observing. One being the the um, natural the physical blockage of the creek that we will um, see later on and also could be maybe effects of climate change. The environmental consequences of large dams are numerous and varied, resulting in direct impacts to the biological, chemical and physical properties of rivers. The dam itself blocks fish migrations, which in some cases, and with some species, completely separates spawning habitats from rearing habitats. The dam also traps sediments, which are critical for maintaining physical processes and habitats downstream of the dam. It also alters the maintenance of rather productive farming lands for the villagers along the Muscle Creek. There are several dams on this, on this creek and it's causing problems right down the creek, right alongside the creek. The, this creek runs for approximately nine and a quarter miles. There are some areas of the creek that are blocked up. The, the fishes are just, the, you, you can see the dead fish in the, in the creek. You can't cross the, the, the the blocks that, that, because the creek is not flowing, you have all these um, morass and different things growing on the, on the creek. And I think part of the reason for the fishes dying has to do with the fact that we don't have enough oxygen in the water due to all the debris and all the plants growing on the creek. The water is not flowing like it should. Some people, the, the water doesn't flow enough for them. You, you have fishermen who used to fish these creeks. They can't do that anymore. They're, we hardly have any fish left in the, in the creek itself. So it does cause a problem. I'd like for people to understand the effects that damming this creek is having on, on not only the wildlife and the fish, but on, uh, the people that live along the creek and the properties that line this creek. I would hope that if they remove the dams and, and clear the creek every year, that this problem will not persist. We should see uh, more fishes coming back. The wildlife would be better. And um, we wouldn't, it would alleviate a lot of problems, especially in the rainy season with the hurricanes and everything else that we have. Lots of rains and floods. 
uh, this creek really and truly uh, affects all the villages in the river valley um, from uh, Isabella Bank there are nine villages back here so um, all these people will be affected if this creek floods and it certainly will flood uh, if, we, if we get a couple of weeks of steady rain, it certainly will flood and it will affect the people coming in from, from the villages trying to get through Boom to get to the East City. They won't be able to cross. Well, we have uh, five ministries that are supposedly going to come out here and uh, take a look at what has happened on the creek. So that's what we're waiting for right now, for them to come out. Another significant and obvious impact is the transformation upstream of the dam from a free-flowing river ecosystem to an artificial slack water reservoir habitat. Changes in temperature, chemical composition, dissolved oxygen levels and the physical properties of a reservoir are often not suitable to the aquatic plants and animals that evolve with a given river system. Indeed, reservoirs often host non-native and invasive species such as snails, algae, predatory fishes that further undermine the river's natural communities of plants and animals. I survey the bungees and I survey another 150 acres. Now, well, the dam is definitely having an effect on the flow of the, the stream. You know, people just block it for their own purposes and that is stopping the flow of water which is causing growth along the banks and blocking up the stream down the line. Blockage that we looked on there is actually a wall or a road running through the, the savannah which blocks the creek, the flow of the creek completely. But this was something that was done by the owner there for their own purpose. They wanted to get access to the to the savannah for the for the cattle. So they just block it, disregarding people who live above or below the, the stream. Everybody is saying that the, the stream is no longer flowing the way it should. And as a result of that, you have blockage along the river banks, which is affecting them because they ha they're having flood in the dry season. And in the rainy season, it's even worse. They complain to the ministries, you know, whether they were made. But if they, if they are being made, I'm sure they will look into it. Because this is something that is affecting the entire population along the river bank. Disruptive and altered water flows can be as severe as completely dewatering river reaches and the life they contain. Yet even subtle changes in the quantity and timing of water flows impact aquatic and riparian life, which can unravel the ecological web of a river system. Wild cabbage, grass growing in the creek, and just creating a mess for us. You saw a lot of wildlife like, well, like uh, wetland birds and when the creek plugs up they all go away so we, we really been we really affected our business tremendously. The problem is now the water is pushing out on the road where the kids have to go to school. Even I have someone at work with me personally who tells me that what happened he's getting a lot of water in his yard. Every year the water is getting more and more because it's not only the main creek it's also the smaller creeks so that are clogged up too and with the dam being dammed at the mouth of the river, it creates a problem there because then the water don't push down, it could be pushed on the banks where the lower, it finds the lowest spot and that's when it comes into the people's yard in Texas Road. It's, it's a big problem. Affecting this community a lot and it's, gonna, it's only get, going to get worse. I and mean, we're seeing the effects already. When you think about five years from now, you know, people are going to feel it. If we don't do something now, it's, just gonna, it's only going to get worse. So we have to act now. Uh, we see it every year that, that it's getting worse and worse and worse. And um, damming the creek is, is just a, it's a tremendous disadvantage to us. Even in, you know we want to go into tourism business, there's so much potential here. I mean, it will benefit everybody in the community. So we hope that we can get something done. But we hope that we'll make an impact on um, um, getting the ministries involved, the different departments. We were hoping that we could get um, public attention, community attention, and then you know, we want to work with other people. We don't want to be pointing fingers and blaming people that you shouldn't have done this, you shouldn't have done that. I mean, it's already done. 
Now let's see how we can fix it and make it better for all of us and we will all benefit in the longer run. Everybody will benefit, especially if we could get the tourism business coming here as we want to do. It will affect all of us here. As stated by the villagers, it is an ongoing fight to get the dam removed to return the river to its once natural and majestic state. With this dam removed, the river will be able to host more marine life, more fresh and well oxygenated water for the farmers. With this dam gone, it will bring back the life to Muscle Creek.